everyone. Happy Friday the 13th. Woo! Amber J just reminded me that today is Friday the 13th. Oh boy. And she also told me a little secret about Friday the 13th that she is going to share with you. So stay tuned. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I am Pamela Pearson, the founder of the Abundance Catalyst, and we are here today for guidance with the goddesses. And I have my new goddess crown on that just arrived this week. Every goddess should have a crown, don't you think, Amber J? Absolutely. I got I'm gonna go grab mine. Do I can go I go grab, grab yours? It? Okay, go grab I'm yours gonna... and bring it. Go grab it. If anybody has their crown, go bring it. We are royal beings. It is our birthright to embrace our goddess self, our divine feminine. And today, that is exactly what we're going to talk about is embracing the goddess within. So if you're new to the group, I'm Pamela Pearson, the founder of the Abundance Catalyst. My mission is help you uncover and unveil your true essence to clear out those limiting beliefs, those blocks, those things that are keeping you stuck, to rediscover your passion and your purpose and ignite it so you can align with your most abundant and fulfilling life. Inner work, outer world. So that is my my mission. Oh, there she is. If you are jumping on, say hello. Give us a shout out in the comments. I love it, Amber J. That is awesome. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes, girl, you go get it. You own it. Oh my gosh, wear that crown, beauty. So yes. can you give us an introduction to your goddess self, please, Amber J? Ooh, yes. Uh, so not unlike many of us, I was deep in the corporate world uh, doing what I thought I was supposed to do to break bust open the glass ceiling. And I was loving it. I was thriving in it. I was hanging out, going toe to toe with the boys club. I would drink them under the table. I was flying everywhere in the world. And like, I had all the things that's supposedly right. Ding, 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 mirror, mirror, ding, mirror. ding, 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 ding. That yeah, I thought we got this going, we got this going, mirror, mirror. mirror. <laughs> that I thought I was supposed to have want or desire. And yet there was like something missing and I couldn't put my finger on it. I didn't know what it was. And so I was uh, leaving the Oscars in a back of a limousine with one of my clients, a little drunky, I'm not going to lie. And she's, she's like, Hey, you should take this leadership course. <laughs> Little did I know what I was getting myself into. Now I have always, I've always been on a spiritual journey and a seeking yeah. journey, but this time I really stepped in and through this uh, transformational process is called MITT mastery and transformational training. It opened my heart mm. to, to vulnerability up until that point. I thought it was a weakness, right? You too. The B word. Yeah, the big V. Oh, the V word. I was always so scared of the V word. Yeah, and it, and yet it's our superpower, and yeah. I just didn't have access to it. And no fault of my upbringing, but so many, I mean, I come from an Italian family in the Midwest, you know, big girls don't cry kind of mentality. <laughs> and um, so I just wasn't taught vulnerability or to share what was actually going on in and to nurture my inner world yeah right and and so when i went through this process which was extremely painful mind you and terrifying yes <laughs> i'm telling you that i some days i just want to be unconscious because that work is hard sometimes man but i saw that so many of my friends the women in my uh community in the work i was doing i came up through uh the entertainment world and through digital technology entertainment startups you know it's like grind it grind yeah. it to succeed right oh i worked an 80 hour week as if that was a badge of honor no, versus yeah. like you are killing yourself no. and knock it off no. and there's and there's a better way right so so anyway, so that's that that was my con. I, I literally started this work going like, why are all these coaches around me? Like, I will never be a coach. 
<laughs> and so, but what never came out of it, say never, right? And what came out of it was I, I have to share this wisdom. I have to let these women off the hook. I have to give, I have to pay these tools forward in some way, shape, or form. And that's how I created Goddess Process, which ultimately has become Goddess Tribe and my Spark program and Women on Fire. So that's that's my crazy story. There's many twists and turns in the middle of that. Yeah, oh God, yeah. Nice. It's not a straight line, that's for sure. It's so funny because mine's the same thing. You know, corporate executive, climb the corporate ladder, running international companies, and then boom, I fell off the ladder five times. And the last one was in 2010, but in 2009, I started doing the transformational spiritual inner consciousness work. And I was like, what the flock have I been doing? Yeah. Now, but like you said, I had a lot of fun and I, I, you know, I learned a lot of things that benefit me today, especially in combining a, having a spiritually based business because you understand business, you understand how that works. But um, so was that your big turning point then? Yeah, that was the big awareness of this chapter. And that, and that's another like aha moment of, at least how I was raised in Raytown, Missouri, is, you know, you go through these rites of passage or, or these steps to have a successful life. And what I experienced and noticed is we have chapters and seasons. I really yeah. hone in on seasons because we, we've experienced seasons. We know that spring happens and new growth and then summer, it's like, woo, summer. It's all right. like really bloomed and blossomed. And then fall happens and the leaves fall off the trees that's what they're meant to do. And it falls back into the earth and creates nutrients and space mm -hmm. for what's next to be yes. born and birth. And we hibernate into the winter. And you know what? I've never seen a tree um, trying to hold on to its leaves. Yeah. Like, no, I'm not, I can't let go. I'm too afraid. I can't let go. Yeah. But we do that in our lives, right? And how many times do we expect it to be? It's almost 100 degrees here today. In the winter, we don't. We don't fight the, the the natural laws of the universe when it comes to seasons. Nobody thinks it's going to be summer, winter, spring, summer, fall. When, you know, if they come in order, there's seasons and there's seasons to our life. So I love that. Nobody nobody fights it. So why do we fight it in our lives? Like, what's well, the... Well, because we, like, part of it is I've done so much. Like, I don't know if you felt this, but I felt this. I, I worked so hard to be in the C-suite. I worked so hard to make all this money and to make my name. I'm, I have accolade, 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 right? And, and this, 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 who am I? Like, I have blazed the path. I have trailblazed it all the way. And who am I to walk away from it, right? Yeah. And the other thing that really comes up, and I'd be interested to see what people have to say who are in the room today, um, that I, I, I have, a, I feel a responsibility and um, guilt. Like a lot of the women that I work with have become the breadwinner of their family. Yeah. Or they have a family unit, whether it's their family or extended family or communities that rely on them. Yeah. Also, as a trailblazer, how dare you step out of that role? We put you up on this pedestal. And now what? Yeah. So... You, you know, there is that transition and letting go of like, you are here, you are a vessel and there is seasons to our lives and you are meant to express them when it's time. And oh, there it comes a time when we can't fight it anymore. Otherwise we get dis-ease. Dis dis -ease, totally. Yeah. Dis-ease. Yeah. We're getting a lot of hearts and likes here. Let's see who we got. Alyssa saying, wear that crown beauty. Paul is giving us some crowns. Anne Marie. Oh, I think Anne Marie is in love with your crown. Amber well, J. let me tell you why we're wearing our crowns today. Not that yes. we're, we're wearing our crowns every day, whether yes. we see them or not uh, in the physical or not. We're always wearing our crowns. So wear your crown queen. Have you seen that, that um, gif of uh, Rihanna where she's putting on her crown? Yes. Yes. Like, yes, queen. It's like one of my favorites. Wow. Yeah. 
I just sent I, that to somebody, I think, this morning. Yeah, Whoa. that's the vibe. Okay, so this is Friday the 13th, Day of the Divine Feminine. Before patriarchal times, Friday the 13th was considered the day of the goddess. Ding, ding, ding. It was considered a day to worship the divine feminine that lives in all and to honor the cycles of creation and death and rebirth. So kind of what we're talking about, the whole seasons. Yeah. Um, Friday the 13th was considered a very powerful day to manifest honor creativity and to celebrate beauty, wisdom, and nourishment of the soul. The number 13 also holds an extremely potent feminine energy and is considered to be the number of death and rebirth, creation, fertility, and blood. This is because we have 13 moon cycles every year and the average female also experiences 13 periods per year. This was written by Forever Conscious. You can find that on the internets and the Instagrams and rewilding for women who's, who posted it. I was like, wow. yes, yes, yes. All the yeses. You know, you can't make this shit up. No. Right? Because I'm going to put that forever conscious. Um, because you and I had scheduled, I had to reschedule. And then what do we do? We reschedule for today. Neither of us look until all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, it's Friday the 13th. How more perfect is that? You cannot make this shit up. Like the day of the divine feminine, the day of the goddess. So we are bringing the goddesses here. Yeah. Let me see. We, we are in goddess church. Welcome to church, ladies. Welcome, Welcome to church. Oh, Welcome look at my doggie. Church. He wants to get in on this too. Oh, yes. We love the doggies. I'm going yeah. to tattoo that on my arm to remind myself, Alyssa said. Toes <laughs> reposted it after you read it on. Yeah. Forever conscious. I'm heading, listening, getting kids out the door. Love the crowns, Martha said. Good morning. Good morning, Holly. Yes, goddesses. Oh, hey, Sandy. Good to see you. Alyssa. Woohoo, Holly. Yes, ladies. So what do you think? Should we blessed to be bitches? Blessed <laughs> be bitches. Yes, blessed be bitches. We're in goddess church. Blessed be. So, um, so yeah, I mean, what do you ladies think? What, what? Tell us a little bit, um, Amber, especially where people can find you and a little bit about your goddess process and the things. How are you bringing this to the world? Thank you. Thanks for teeing that up. Pamela Pearson, the Abundance Catalyst. Uh -huh. I so appreciate you. Appreciate um, you. So where you can find me, I'm Amber J. Lawson. I go by Amber J. You can find me on every platform, Amber J. Lawson. And my account is Goddess Process. What's interesting, um, and we've kind of shifted the branding from Goddess, uh, because the women who I have, it, it's interesting, I attract these power, powerful women, and not all of them resonate with the term Goddess. Yeah. They're like not there yet, right? And so like all of us who are like in the like flow, and we're like, yes, I'm my Goddess. I'm like claiming my, my divine feminine. They're like, what is yeah. that? So we've shifted a little of the branding and it's gone. I, I created this signature system called Spark. S, self-care, P, prosperity, R, relationship, and C, community and contribution. And so really the essence of the program is to get your spark back. In Say those whatever, again, self-care. As self-care. So that's the foundation, right? If if we're not whole and complete, I mean, you are whole and complete. And if we're not nourished and our cup full, filling our cup first, the old adage of put your oxygen mask on first. Yeah. You can't help others if you're dead on the floor because you didn't put on your oxygen mask. So it's, it's uh, creating a foundation, a solid foundation of self-care, of self-love and whatever that looks like for you, a morning routine, a self-care routine, creating that foundation. And for some people, some people come into the program just to, just to work that muscle of, okay, for 30 days or for the time I'm in tribe, I'm, I'm going to come back to it and come back to it and come back to it. Right. And whether that's five minutes a day or an hour a day that to, to fill my cup first. 
P is prosperity. So money equals self-worth. Yep. What am I willing to receive? Do you allow people to open the door for you? When someone says, oh, no, let me pay for your lunch or let me pay for your coffee to go, oh, no, 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 no. Right? Where am I blocking my receiving? And Pamela Pearson, I mean, you are the, the clearing goddess of, of this pipeline. And obviously it, it, it drips into every area of our life, right? Yeah, it <laughs> does, totally. It's what we do money. in one area of life, we do in all areas of our life. Yeah, how we do one thing is how we do everything. So really looking at the, the facts. What are the facts, Jack? And we use money at, because it's something we can define, yeah. right? And it bleeds off into every other area of our life. So we get really clear on where am I spending money and, and what, am I, what am I receiving? What have, what have I allowed into my life up until this moment? And, and for a lot of people who are in the program, who experience it, that they have, don't have an awareness of their money. We avoid it. We push it aside. We're like, oh, the people hate talking about it. Paying yeah. their bills, you know? Well, and what are, what are our limiting beliefs around it? Were we yeah. taught like, uh, we don't talk about money. I know in certain families and communities and religions, like we do not discuss money. That's like gross right or money doesn't grow on trees or you have to work hard for money work too hard yeah. yeah save for a rainy day yes right Who, what, what is there to do when it's raining i want to save for a sunny <laughs> i want to spend it on a sunny day not save it for a rainy day exactly exactly so that's what we explore in prosperity where are your blocks where are you, what have you allowed where, what do you want to allow and also setting the gps so this is a, an image um Abraham Hicks talks about it. Uh, Manifestation Babe talks about it. I really love this. So sometimes we're like, I want a million dollars. You're like, okay. You know, is that really in your, yes. How about we get out of bankruptcy first? <laughs> yeah, right. But like, let's yeah. step into setting a, a, a goal, a, a goal post, a GPS, so that the universe can weighs your way there. Yeah. Right. Wazy it there. So, so if, but like, if you got in the car and you want to go to San Diego or you want to, or you want to go towards a beach and you don't set a destination, Waze may take you to Vegas. Yeah. Right. You know, like it doesn't have, the universe doesn't have a way to route you. So we yeah. like put a stake in the ground, just put a stake in there. And, and it's interesting to notice like all the noise that we have in our minds, in our, in our, in our belief systems that are like, well, if I, if I create a clear goal, if I say this very specific thing, then I'm excluding everything else versus no, you have told the universe, I want this thing and I I'll, you know, thing. I'll do whatever it takes and allow it to line up for me. Yeah. And totally with the GPS, if you set your destination and then it says rerouting, you know, because there's there's a block in the road. There, the road's closed because it's construction. They're rerouting. You don't still try to go through it, go around it, or you don't argue with the GPS. Like, well, sometimes I do. Let's yeah. not kid ourselves. I know that <laughs> always takes me to these crazy ways. But you also, on your GPS, you get to do you want fastest route, least miles, you know, See, you want back roads, no tolls. You still have options. But if your GPS says go right, you're going to go right if you want to get to the beach. And people spend more time planning than the vacation than they do their life, which is totally like yeah. really that's your intuition, right? It's like tuning in and trusting yourself like you trust ways. Like yeah. did it did did my intuition just say turn right? Like yeah. Right? Like what's lining up for you? And it may sound like kooky, like the thing that may be in front of you may not be look like a clear path to where you're going, yeah. but it's the thing that steps you in that direction and opens up a relationship or opens up an opportunity or you meet a person or it, it busts through a limiting belief. You know, those those pieces along the the track are 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 the gifts. Yes. When we trust ourselves. 
right? Or we can strong arm our way through it. Okay, so P, uh, A. R, R. There's no A. A for Amber J, but no A is. A for Amber J. Yeah, we just got Holly's like, love me some Amber J. A for Amber J. S P R. R is relationships. And this is where we really get into vulnerability, into communicating our wants, needs, and desires. How many of us, how many of us want our partner to do certain things, but we don't communicate it. And then we're pissed off at them when they didn't do the thing that we didn't communicate. Like, how fair is that? How fair is that? That's not fair. Sammer, I'm really upset that you didn't come on and practice with me yesterday at 11. Well, yeah. you didn't ask me to. Well, you should have known better. Exactly. I mean, that's how, that's how kind of silly and ridiculous yeah. it can be. It, and how relationships get damaged in that. And not just our romantic relationships, familial. We also yeah. take a look at who are the five relationships that are that we spend the most time with. And are we consciously choosing them? Are they serving us yeah. or is it time to release them? Right? Yeah. Are they really are they really are they serving us? You know, they're and that can be family. It can be Family, maybe we don't put them in that inner circle if it's toxic or dangerous, you know, and, and the, the guilt or expectation we may feel around uh, creating some distance around certain relationships in our lives. Also, we may have friends from high school that have gone into different experiences that no longer align with us. And like we talked about the seasons, it may be time that they, that someone who is fortifying our life takes that slot. Yes. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it can be an emotional week. It's, it's, so when we do the 30 day spark program, it's 30 minutes every morning. We take a week for each one of these SPRC and in that week, you would be, it just blows your mind, the transformation that happens, the hearts that open, the conversations that occur that have maybe been sitting there for 20 years rotting, you know, and to uncover it and the freedom that's available in that when we uncover like, oh, this thing has been like a chip on my shoulder. It's been weighing on me and I and I have just been sh shoving it down, pushing it down. And it, it really opens up and uncovers that. So you have juicy, uh, energizing, fortifying relationships in your life and that you're the cause of them. You're the co-creator of them, not just uh, a, 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 a passive participant in them. Yeah. And when you give somebody a structure like that, it just brings it to our probably, which is next consciousness, right? When then you're like, what we focus on, we expand in. So it's like, oh, I'm going to think about self-care and I'm going to think about relationships and I'm going to think about prosperity. I mean, just having that structure puts you into that vibe. Yeah. And you go, you know, and so in, in tribe and in goddess tribe, we do this over expanded periods of time. So it takes about six months to go through all of it. And we do, it's little tastes of what we do in the intensive, right? In the intensive, you get it like, and it, um, it's rooted into your beingness. Whereas, and then, you know, we work it out. It's like a gym, right? You're building new muscles, new neural pathways in your brain. So the C is community and contribution. What is my purpose? What am I here on the planet to do at this time? Uh, we're all this unique emanation happening on the planet. You are here for a reason. And, you know, what is that talent? Nobody else has the talents you do. I can put on my lipstick without looking in a mirror. That is one of my talents. So, like, you know, what are you, what are your what are your wacky crazy? I got talents? that one. I got that talent. Yeah, and right. I got the mascara too. Oh wow. Well, I I get uh, eyelash extensions, so I don't have to do that. <laughs> uh, I got to do that one. I love them. 
I've been doing them for years. So, you know, and you walk out with purpose, like who, what is my vision for the world? What is my vision? So the I for myself, for the we, my community, the people I know, my family, my coworkers, and the all. So we're all, yes, you know, right. what's happening in the one is happening in the all. Yeah, for true. And Deanna said, this is very good. Practical insight, really appreciated. So it's yeah, true. that's really what you know. I do the I do the woo woo for you, and I give you really practical um, exercises and tools that you can take. You know, so that a, a type or that that uh, doer side of all of us, the doers do do do, that we have doing exercises <laughs> to help us get into our being. <laughs> and to, and yeah, to, but think about um, it. Like, so we go to school. And we learn a lot of stupid shit in school that's like, and it's not even learning. It's let me barf stuff at you and you get tested on whether you can barf regurgitate it back to me. And if you can regurgitate it back to me, then you get a, then you get an A. And if you can't return, regurgitate it back to me, you get an F. But where did we learn about finances? Where did we learn how to balance a checkbook? Where did we learn about, well, in some of it they're teaching now, but meditation, spirituality, consciousness, the laws of the universe. Like we don't, science didn't teach us about the laws of the universe. Well, because it's not science. It's, you know, it's like too woo-woo for people. But like, this is some of the most important things. What you're talking about right there, like those four to five, you know, those four or five things are some of the most important things that we need to learn to be able to function a fulfilling and abundant life. I mean, like, that's my thing is I, I'm the catalyst for helping people live a fulfilling and abundant life through inner transformation. Same thing with you. You're teaching them these principles and people are like, oh my gosh, I have to put myself first. Yeah. I have to have a positive mindset. You don't have to, but it would serve you better. You know, com connection to community, not just self, family, but the larger and then the universal, like all of those things, relationships and community. And then, you know, the how am I giving back? What am I doing in my contribution to the world? Because it is about flow. It's about give and receive and it has to be flow and it gets stagnant and stuck. So like what an amazing thing to be teaching people how to do this. I mean, they must just be like. Wow. Yeah. It, 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 there is always, no matter where you are on the like consciousness scale or your journey in awakening and expansion, it, there's always some wisdom nugget that gets unfolded. And, and we do it in a group setting because, you know, the biggest, one of the biggest ahas I had is like, I'm over here suffering. Oh, it's just me suffering and yeah. I'm having this experience. And when I got in a group setting and I realized, oh, you're experiencing that and you're like a, a different color of it, right? Or a different version of it, a different size of it, but that we are all having similar experiences, similar places where we're stuck on our journey or that or, or, or awakenings happening. And, and when we, re we realize that we're not doing it alone, it's like not that big of a deal anymore. And yeah. there are people who've gone before me so I can lean into their experience knowing I'm going to be all right on the other side. Yeah. I, I find the same thing. I was doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one clearing sessions for quite some, you know, for years and then when I launched my group program, I find the group program accelerates people's transformation so much more because they have community, they have connection, they develop relationships and they, you know, that a collective always brings like minds together. They can relate to each other. They see something else, somebody's experience and they think, oh, I'm not alone or it triggers a seed or a spark in themselves to, you know, to get encouraged i've seen like oh well i was encouraged to do this because i i saw you do this and it's like wow i love like i'm all about i'm all about leveraging that group environment it's just i think it's more powerful together we rise right together we rise together okay. we rise so we got let's see we got <laughs> i like woo woo too deanna said <laughs> yeah well if you if you're here you do balancing the feminine with the masculine goddess 
totally, totally. The feminine and the masculine, remember, aren't gender and their their energies. And I know that I was very much in my masculine energy when I was a CEO, corporate CEO, mm -hmm. executive, because like you said, we were playing in the boys club and there was a certain energy I had to bring to be respected to get things done to move forward. And then I was at the top of that ladder going, where is she? Where is that divine feminine goddess? Yeah. You know? well, not even being able to identify that. Like, like, why do I feel like something's missing and I can't put my finger yeah. on it, you know? Yeah. It's like, wow. So yeah, to be able to integrate those things together. If anybody can relate to this, just put relate in the comments or give me a thumbs up in the comments because it's just, that's what we're talking about in community when you can begin to relate to people mm -hmm. and when you can begin to see others' experiences, it, it supports us all. It supports us all. So I just absolutely love you, Divine Amber J. You are a goddess in your own right. I'm so blessed that we have connected. We connected on Clubhouse and the Spiritual Summit and here, our community. Yeah, look at, look at everybody's like, Yes, yes. Nikki, yes, totally relate. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Yeah. And Deanna was saying she totally believes we should be teaching our children these basic spiritual. Oh, I love how you said that, Deanna. You said teaching our children these spiritual truths. Basic early on because they are spiritual yeah. truths. I'm going to write that down. Totally. So our spiritual we... truths. So does anybody have any specific questions for Amber J? Anything that um, you want us to know? I'm going to shoot your Instagram cool. in here as well. Um, while we're doing so that. To find you. Oh, thank you. Um, while we're doing that, Pamela Pearson, what's happening with you? Is, is Do you have a course going on right now? Are you, is the spiritual summit coming back? What's happening? We're coming into the fall. Oh, they're so many exciting. Yeah, there. So um, I haven't told, I haven't announced this yet. I'm going to be. Um, I keep getting more people coming to me and wanting to clear out stuff. So I'm going to do uh, a mini course. It's going to be three days. It's not full days. It's like an hour and a half, three days in a row, and I'll be focusing on clearing the top blocks in um, around health, wealth, and relationships. So those are the big things people come. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be in August. It's probably going to be a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I have to look at the, uh, I think the 28th, 9th, somewhere at the end of August. Yes, we are going to have another spiritual summit in September. Woo -hoo -hoo. The date has not been picked yet. Um, just trying to enjoy a little bit of the summer, but yeah, I have, uh, I have my three days. So if anybody's interested, if you want to know more deets on that three day, it's going to be a pretty affordable cost. We're going to have a group probably limited to 10 or 15 people um, okay. and to come in to clear out the top blocks in each of the wealth, health and relationship areas so we can really move forward to that. So that's going to be in August. And I'll send you the deets on that, Amber. And yeah. then the spiritual summit coming up in September. So yeah, just more, more. And I agree with you to like, I feel... I feel a responsibility and a good responsibility to bring these principles and these truths forward because they were a game changer for me. And like, look at you. I mean, do you think the two of us would ever be sitting in a board meeting or in a corporate meeting with freaking crowns on? They would have been like, what is wrong with her, right? <laughs> well, I've always been kind of eccentric. I well, love yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the fact that we have them though is even just hysterical, but but we are goddesses in our in our birthright. So yeah, so that's what I have going on. And I would also like invite the the room, those who are, are experiencing this, if you don't have a crown, get one. Like there it there it's a tool. It's really yeah. a tool to activate your divine feminine if that works for you right it's like it, it is that rihanna post of putting on your crown stepping into your queen maybe that is your power pose before you yes. lead your seminar or webinar or step into to picking up at the daycare line you know whatever it is that you know you get to tap in a line invigorate, call forth, 
inside of you. This is just one of many tools you can use. Another tool I love to use to soften the edges, to get into flow is dancing. Put yeah. on, you know, we're so like, mm, 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 get it done. Here's my things. I am multitasking. I need to go to the grocery store and rah, 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 rah. right. Um, when you're feeling overwhelmed or angry or sad or whatever it, it it's coming up for you and you want to shift it, you may not want to shift it. You may want to sit in it and that's fine too. But if you want to shift it, put on a three minute song, commit to yourself that you will do the entire song and that you will move your body and see what happens by the end. By the end of that song, what has happened in your body? It is the it's the cheapest, easiest way to to shift out of your masculine. Out of this works. Okay, shift out of shift. Shift out of shift. Don't sit in it. Don't sit in shift. Move it. Wait, say that again. Say, don't sit in your shift. Don't, I was like, and step into your gift or something is kind yeah. of what I heard. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So um, one of the, the kind of blocks that have happened in modern day relationships is the, the woman in the, the female body, if it's a hetero relationship, it, cause I, I'll speak to that because that's what I experienced, is... Uh, you know, we're doing and doing and doing all day. And then our partner comes back in and they've been doing, doing they've been conquering the world too. And so you, you have two masculine energies meeting and that's really um, not hot. Not hot. It's no. not hot in the kitchen. It's not hot in the bedroom. You need yeah. polarity, right? In order to create sparks, to get your spark back. Ding, get ding, your ding. spark back. So you need that polarity. So somebody needs to be the feminine. And sometimes we push our, our masculine partners into the feminine and then we're, we don't like it, it yeah. for us. Yeah. Totally. Right. And, and so we get to take, uh, we can take ownership and responsibility to shift out of our mask. We can do, do, do all that. We can run companies, we can run, you know, multi a billion dollar organizations, but if, if we want the polarity in our relationship where our partner is in the masculine and we're in the feminine, we have to shift out of that. And, and this dancing for one song or two songs is one of the easiest, best, cheapest tools to use yeah. in order to soften our edges, to be in the receiving mode, right? Cause they're purposeful and penetrate masculine is purposeful and penetrating and death. Yeah. The feminine is life creation. Oh, come to me. The feminine is I am here. Come to me. It's like the sperm and the egg, right? Yeah. The egg just sits there. The egg is the divine feminine. It just sits there. It says, come to me. And then the sperm's like, nah, 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 and what happens when the sperm gets to the egg? The egg devours it. It goes, right? <laughs> devours it right so, and, 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 and. we talk about that I a lot love it. i didn't know that i didn't know sperm had a sound effect but now i do it does it does <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that see everybody can learn something today it's so i mean funny. you're learning a lot yes um so uh, let's see we got sandy said you were both blowing up my internet great job love you both <laughs> we love you too yeah, give us some heart love. Give us some love. Uh, Deanna said, I'd be very interested in the next summit, which you will hear about. And then she said, what is the program Amber J was talking about? It's Amber's Spark program. Where can they, what's your website or where can they go find that? So the first step is, and the easiest step is to go to goddessprocess.us, U-S. You can go there or go to goddessprocess.us slash tribe, T-R-I-B-E. And because of Pamela Pearson's fabulous community, it is merely a dollar to join, to try it out. So you join for a buck, one dollar, come in. You, we have our Saturday calls at 9 a.m. We do an hour of power, 9 a.m. Pacific. So one hour of power. And we also, what's included in this subscription membership is we do the new moon and full moon ceremonies. Ooh. 
So those are two hour chunks of time where you can fill your cup. You know, there's dancing, there's guided visualizations. We do exercises, we do intention setting, we do sharing, there's coaching, there's expansion. And it's an opportunity to claim time for yourself. Like if you are a very busy person, this is, uh, op or you have kids and there's like all the things happening all the time. Blocking that two hours is a, such a nourishing time to come. And it's part of this membership. Like if, if you were just to a la carte it, it's 30 bucks, uh, 30 bucks a session. For $1, it's included. I'm just saying for my bargain shoppers. <laughs> like and then from there, moving forward right now, it's $18 a month to continue the membership. So for less than 20 bucks, you're getting the, this container as well as we have uh, all the the old recordings of everything. So you can go oh, back wow. to moon ceremonies and to uh, the tribe lessons, the wisdom sessions that we have every week. And then we have Goddess Universe, which is other tools and tips and tricks. I have quizzes. I have um, processes that are in there that are it's called Goddess Universe that you can dig into and 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 use. We were we refer to them in tribe, but also you can just like pick up a book. You're like, oh, this resonates for me. Like I, I was just doing Melissa Zosky. Oh um, yeah, had come and done did our uh, daily kickstart room, and she I was having an upper limit problem, and she's like upper limit problem for you girl and i went and reread i had read it before but it had been years oh, yeah. i went back and read the big leap yeah. and put that into the library right and now yeah. i when when that comes up for someone we can refer to that so there's all these resources of and tools abraham hicks uh you, you're a badass with money jen centaur like all the tools are in there that you can use so so that's the place to start Come to Tribe, come experience it, see if you dig hanging out with me. You know, if you dig the community, awesome. And then you can go deeper into when when we open up the 30-day intensive, which will be happening in September. Awesome. Awesome. Yay! Yes. Oh, welcome, Yay. Deanna. Yes, love it. Just subscribe. Woo-hoo-hoo, Deanna. Woo. Welcome to your tribe. Welcome to your tribe. Yeah. And this is what is important. You know, you don't see a lot of people doing connection and collaboration because they're all about that competition and like there isn't enough to go around, but we're in that mindset of abundance and we want to connect those goddesses in that support network. We want you to find the resources. We want you to go to what aligns with you and that you need, because like Amber J said, it's all cycles. We all need different things at different points in our lives. Mm. And we are all here. A rising tide raises all ships. My partner is a boat guy. So we always say the rising tide raises all ships. But you have to have your boat in the water. If you're sitting on the shore, you're not doing it. So get in the water. The water is fine. And come and play with your goddess tribe and bring your crown. I did yeah. my um, coaching group. Um, I, I suggested everybody in my coaching group get a crown. So they're all out like getting their crowns because like, think about it when you want to feel, you know, sexy, you wear your sexy clothes. And when you're hanging on the couch, you wear your sweatpants. And when you're going to church, you dress one way. And when you're going to, you know, a party, you dress another way. These are all archetypes, right? These are the goddess is an archetype and the crown is symbolic of the archetype. So when you put it on, you bring the energy of that archetype in. Think about Halloween is like the biggest archetype day. If you, if you want to be the witch, you dress like a witch. If you want to be the ghost or you want to be the princess or the goddess or the fireman or the policeman, they're all archetypes. So get your crown and wear it proud. Send us a picture. I want to see all the pictures of the crown. I want to see all the pictures. Yes. yes. Pictures of the crowns. So, yes, um, so that's how they can find you. I'm just checking out. We got... We are supposed to celebrate each other. Absolutely. Yeah, give us some emoji love. Oh, Amory just subscribed too. That's awesome, Yay, Amory. Welcome, Amory. Yes, give us some emoji. Give us some uh, hearts emojis here. Yeah, woo, woo, woo. Yay. So, any parting words, my dear goddess Amber J? Mm, parting words. Ah. Uh, 
trust yourself. Mm. You know best for you. But uh, what we have devalued in this society at this time, we're so rushing around, do, do, doing, and you do, do, do all over yourself. <laughs> You don't should all over yourself. Yeah, don't should all over yourself. But taking the time, even five minutes, to consider and reflect inward and say, is this in alignment for me? And trusting the wisdom that comes through you in that moment. I, I had an experience like this yesterday. I was supposed to go on a date last night and I was exhausted and i'm also like upping my vibration around like attracting a partner and it just didn't feel in vibrational alignment and i trusted myself and i canceled and then i immediately went into like fomo of like oh well i gotta like yeah yeah i gotta, I gotta uh try all the fish in the sea and then i like yeah blah, blah blah right that's like all the the voices in my head I have voice in my head just like everybody else, right? Like, um, and I was like, FOMO, FOMO, FOMO. And then I was like, trust yourself, trust your body, trust this eternal and internal knowing that I needed to, to, to rest and to integrate and to reflect on, on this kind of, I've been doing a lot of shadow work uh, this past like week. Coming into my birthday, I like to, to go deeper and yeah, right. My birthday goddess. Um, we're in our birthday month. It's birthday month. It's birthday month. <laughs> so yeah, so I've just been in this reflective and internal growth space. And so trusting myself. And I'm grateful because I'm able to be present today. I feel better today. I feel, you know, like energetically, like I was exhausted yesterday. And and that's part of the energy with the lion's gate that just came through and the new moon yeah. and there's ascension symptoms. I don't know if you've heard of that, but like, I was just, I've been exhausted and, yeah. and, and just trusting your, those pings that you have, that internal knowing. Yeah. I love that. And because it all starts from within. So trust yourself feel into what feels aligned and everything will be as it should. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Right, let's give it up for Amber J. Give us some whoop whoops. Give us some of those heart emojis. Happy give Friday the 13th. Happy Friday the 13th. Oh my God. Goddess day. Who could have thought that you and I would have rescheduled and we didn't, I didn't even look that it was Friday the 13th. I didn't put it together. So this, I see the universe. I love the universe. It has a sense of humor. So it always brings it. So again, give us some, uh, give us some love. Give us a heart in the comments. If you enjoyed today's guidance with the goddesses and uh, we want to thank you, my dear, for, for coming on again, you can find her Amber J Lawson on pretty much any um platform and i did put the goddess i put the um the website in there somewhere the goddess yeah, process .us. Yeah. yeah so go check out her tribe we want to align with our like-minded people and hey everybody and have a fabulous friday the 13th i just might wear my crown to the store you know and uh have I'm a wonderful day. It. i kind of think i have to yeah i know i think so i think it looks it looks pretty good so I love Thank yours you too. Where did you find yours? This, I mean, this very rare site called Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I got mine on, I think it's spelled E-T-S-Y. Hmm. Etsy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I Etsy has amazing ones. They have like. Oh, they have some serious crowns on Etsy for sure. Yes. yes. So, well, everybody, thank you for being here. Thank you again, Amber J. Much love to you. You are a goddess in your own right, leading the way for us to raise ourselves to higher vibration and consciousness. Much love to you, giving you a virtual hug and so grateful thank for you, you in my world. Woohoo! So grateful for you. I hug you. Hug you. Woo. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Thank you.